Hi and welcome to another episode of Percy Plays Guernsey FC with me Andy and I uh, have you on the transfer screen again because I said I wasn't going to sign anybody else but somebody came to uh, pass on a trial and I thought yeah let's bring him in he's called Ed Palmer we have a look at him he's from Truro um, who went down last season um, and he played I think in the last two seasons yeah, he's played 73 games in the Vanarama South so it's good to have someone with a little bit of uh, the experience of that level especially if we're trying to get there ourselves <clears throat> looking at him um, our best defensive midfielder by a fair way and if we look at him in midfield he's sort of in and around the top six and if we look at him defense he's yeah top four so a good utility player to have um, if anything happens injury wise so yep, yeah, Ed Palmer, welcome to Guernsey, and hopefully we'll have a, a long successful career. Yep, yeah, we've had um, two games since our 1-0 win in the last episode against Brighton C in the Cup, um, and uh, here they are now. Yeah, first up was a bit of a crazy Alan Turvey League Cup game against Basildon. Um, they jumped into a 2-0 league very early, um, so I did a, a little bit of switching around and a few ta tra tactical tweaks, and um, we came back into it by half-time 2 all. Um, that's how it stayed until the 114th minute, um, well into extra time, when Joe Charles scored. And then Glyn Dyer, who um, you might not have seen, he's sort of a utility winger, um, came in and scored and then Robbie Legg finished it off in 120th and we also had a goal just loud in about 121st that could have very easily been 6-2 um, if we have a, a quick look at the goals from our perspective um, Tom Bruce our 18 year old centre back came up with a good one I'm just going to see yeah. oh yeah it was a header and then literally came back to him and scored and that was, that was beautiful just going to quickly put you on director so we can see this Joe Charles scored in the 42nd. Now Joe's come back into the team um, actually in this game and uh, showed why he was so so prevalent last season as a goal scorer. Um, even though he's ranked sort of sixth or seventh best striker in the team now. Uh, so Joe came in, yeah, nipped it off him and um, yeah, banged it in. So that was back to two all at that point. And then in the 114th, Joe scored again. A bit of a rubbishy corner, and that was Joe. But Robbie Leg got it and swung it back across to Joe at the back post. Came in from just taking the corner, and uh, yeah, finished it. Glyn Dyer scored in the hundred and seventeenth for another. Joe was involved with everything, so a Brucey header, and um, yeah, tap in from Glyn, and then Robbie Leg in the hundred and twentieth. Long ball by their goalkeeper, and Palmer had come in, got get in there, and um, yeah, sort of cleaned up a bit. Great whip by Dyer, and then it was actually Tom Dunham that hit it and it came off of Robbie Legg's leg uh, for the fifth. So, yep, 5 2 through to the next round, Leanne and Turvey. Yeah, interesting game if you look at the stats 22 shots versus their seven. They scored two of those, 60, uh, sorry, 53% possession, which is interesting. I thought we had a bit more possession than that. <clears throat> but all in all, 7.5 average rating. Yeah, yeah, good, good result. And then one of the weirdest games I have ever seen on uh, Football Manager: a two-all draw against Wingate and Finchley. Um, I'm just going to put in put on watch goals because you have to see these to believe them, especially the first three goals. Just yeah, big as all belief what happened. So that was Ed to their goalkeeper Stedman, who had the worst touch I've ever seen. Calvin gets in there, puts it across to Joe, and he scores. Then, unfortunately, our defenders and the goalkeeper decided they wanted to, yeah, enough said about that one. Absolutely atrocious. And I've seen a rash of these recently as well. And then, that was their goalkeeper, completely passing it to nobody but, but Joe Charles. And then, yeah, this was the only normal goal in the game. Knight got on it and then slammed it in the bottom corner for two all. It was a little bit disappointing if we look at the stats on the game. 11-9. They had 58% possession now, which was, yeah, we, we hardly ever play a game where we don't have the lion's share of possession. Um, better average rating than them. I think two all might have been a might have been a fair result on the on the look of those figures there. But yeah, I was still disappointed at the time. 
it's just a crazy game all in all. So today we're playing Leek Town, uh, Leek in Staffordshire. So we would have to fly into Manchester. I've had a look, um, it's about an hour's drive down either via Macclesfield or via the Cat and Fiddle, which is quite a um, famous pass in the Peak District. Um, they are favourites. They are, I think, currently seventh in um, the same level as us, same tier as us, but in the Evo Stick Northern Premier West, I think. No, sorry, the Evo Stick Northern Premier, what I'm talking about. They're playing, playing 4 4 2, uh, which we yeah, love playing against so much. So I've actually gone back to what's a very, very similar format to what we had last year with Callum and Goal. Harry Tobin, the legend, um, left back. Steve Aldridge and um, Brucey on in the middle, um, and Charlie Fripp playing on right back with sort of wing back credentials going up and down the wing. Um, Charlton, Arthur, and Charlie Higgins in the middle. Uh, Joe Charles and Robbie Leg up front. Um, I think I might have this on filter for just looking. Yes, yeah, so let's have a look at all positions, shall we? Um, our reserve goalkeeper Jordan Kelly has gone out on loan because he was having a bit of a whinge um, in those cases it's always best to just let him go out on loan I, I wouldn't want to get rid of him because he's, he's a pretty good goalkeeper but there's a possibility we might be getting another goalkeeper in at about 40 quid a week who is a better goalkeeper than Jordan as a reserve so yeah that would be good and that would allow us to release him next season um, I mean, looking at this here, Frank, I might bring Frank back in for for Aldridge, for Steve, <clears throat> because, yeah, he is a better defender. Um, anybody else who want to make changes for? I don't think so at the moment. I mean, yeah, Jamie Calvin is allegedly the best striker in the club, but, yeah, he's only scored the one goal so far. Might be that I'm just not giving him the chance, but it's unfortunate we've got quite a few decent strikers at the moment and Joe Charles who is not ranked as one of them really is the goal scorer fifth best so yeah at the moment Joe gets in there regardless because of the way he plays and the free kicks he takes and the corners he takes so that's the team we're going to go with uh, oh tried this earlier there are some competitions that still only have five subs and the FA Trophy is one of them so let's not not have a striker um, Tom Delamere and, and Wakefield and even Mohamed or Ben I think Kaid Mohamed I'm going to have to yeah I'm going to have Frank in for Kaid and I'm going to take them off so the match engine doesn't moan about me having too many too many strikers uh, sorry too many subs let's go to team selection again yeah that's good they are playing 4 4 2. Oh, deep joy. So let's go to the dressing room. Ooh, underdogs. No, nothing. Let's go passionately. Faith. Always have faith in you boys. All right, and um, yeah, I'll see you for kickoff. And here we are. Um, looking like it could be a difficult game this one I'm just going to turn it to 2d and they've got the ball for the first highlight let's put these back on oh i'm coming in a minute and it's their highlight egan to wise to deakin cresswell oh god crikey yeah, callum's not really been in, on form for the last few games yeah it's a bit of a shame because he has been such a dominant goalkeeper. So Egan gets the ball, it's poor slide tackle, wise to Deakin, just taps it through and Cresswell scores. Yeah, I'm gonna make a, a quick change of the op of opposition. So let's have a quick look at this. I'm, I've done this the last couple of times, but I've forgotten to do the opposition tactics and I'm just going to press the forwards and we're going to confirm and go with that that's what happened in that Basildon game we went 2-0 down really quickly um, made the changes and um, yeah, got back to 2-0 yeah if we, we 
do play a certain way, we do tend to be quite quite good in defence. But if I forget to do things, that's when we let goals in. Almost 15 minutes gone and nothing else happening. We've had a couple of shots. They are the home team, so it should, should be expected that they'll be a slightly more dominant in the first half. Hopefully we can come into the game in a bit. They've had a decent whack of possession. Crikey, really nothing is happening. This has happened so often in the last few matches. It's almost like they're lacking creativity. Alright, highlight. We have it. Fripp to Bruce. Across to Frank Tobin. Let's spread it wide. Charlton go vain. Good ball over to Robbie Leg. Oh, that was poor. Now they've got it and are breaking. Grice, ball over the top. Cresswell, goal. What the hell is happening? That was absolutely atrocious. 2 0. So Grice, and just the ball over. I'm 2 0. I can't go to standard. God knows what Callum was doing there as well. That was pretty poor. Yeah, right, let's have a quick look, see what I can do. Is there anything? Um, I'm bereft. I'm trying to focus play down the middle. Got underlap left on. Yeah, that's. Don't particularly want to go more than a short pass because it's. We're, we're not brilliant at that. If I drag it down, we're going to be too stretched. If I push it up. We're going to get absolutely slaughtered. I'm going to leave it as is, I think, until half time. Hope we don't go 3 0 down. Um, yeah, no, none of the players are covering themselves in glory at the moment. Charlie Fripps on the 6.2. Yeah, let's just try to get to half time so I can give them an absolute rollicking. Yeah, seven shots to nothing as well. So they are by far the dominant team. Yeah, aggressively, show me something else. If I do that, no, no. I don't want to do anything now. Because anything I say is going to make it worse, I think. Well, they like it, they like the unlucky, do they? Okay, calmly, unlucky. Okay, they see themselves as unlucky. Interesting. Uh, tactics, tactics, tactics. Have we got anybody? Nathan's only on a six point three. Is it time to bring? I'm going to bring Kyd in because he likes playing inside forward. So I'm going to then overlap with Harry. And change him to this sort of support wing back. What I might do is no, I'm going to leave that as is because yeah, six point three. I know Charlie's on six point two, but I can't change. <laughs> I haven't got anybody to change him for. Um, let's go back to tactics again, and we've got high tempo, mixed crossing. What I might do which sometimes works extremely wide. I'm going to come off extremely wide and go wide. What sometimes works is swapping the forwards around, having them on what they were doing before, but just swapping sides. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Um, yeah, not expecting anything, but let us see. Hopefully Harry getting a bit further up can maraud outside of Kaid. That'd be good. But this is their highlight, unfortunately. Orford to McGowan, to Barrett, to Wise. But this is where our press sometimes works well, unless they can break out of the press by a long ball. And it forces them back to the keeper. It has to go long. Well, we've got two players getting in each other's way there, though, Arthur and... I think it'll be Charlton, is it, number eight? Ball over, three nil, all over. Yeah, they're just a better team. 
don't know what to do. So yeah, Egan, just a good cross, and our centre backs are not not in the game. They're getting pulled over to one side. <sighs> All right, forty-eight minutes. What do we do? I do. And Robbie, Robbie Legs had an abysmal game. I think I might bring. Now, Mohammed can play centre forward. Doesn't massively like it. I'm going to have him an attack in the middle, and I'm going to have Frank come on for Robbie Leg and have him play as a support defensive fielder. And I'm going to focus play down the middle, and I'm going to take that off and early crosses so our wing backs can hopefully get the early crosses over. Go slightly longer passing. And go much higher and if this means we get beat, beaten 7-0 or 8-0 I don't care because it's a cup game let's see if that does anything so yeah 4-3-3 three, three, which was exploity last season but isn't so much at the moment okay yeah this is where I don't like making changes to to do these it's going to be on the opposition isn't it to do the press because oh no it's press it's not that must have been on a, in an individual one then ok yeah cool not worried about that that can stay as is my assistant manager telling me that we're out of position Walford across to win and Callum's actually saved it wow oh, really mustn't be harsh Cameron has had a, a, been an amazing player for us I think Arthur's looking a bit tired. I'm going to make our third sub. And it's going to be Tom Delamere, Arthur, and Charlton is going to be is a, an attack as well. And we are going to go attacking. Let's give it a go, shall we? Tom sort of holds back and everybody else going forward. Push forward. Yeah, this is going to be our worst defeat since Avery last season, I think. So Harry Tobin to Charlton, who gets robbed. <laughs> what? The? Did you see what number four did then? Oh my god! So Bruce, don't know what's happening to him today. Really don't. He just sprinted out to nobody. And now we've got somebody. Oh. Okay, um, I'm going to put him up top and have parts sort of, yeah, left of midfield, confirm that. We're going to have two pressing pressing forwards on defend. Charlie's been a little bit injury prone this season as well, which is not good. What was it? Potential five, unless hopefully he's not broken his femur. So this is exceptionally uninspiring game. Rice gets the ball and it's over at Cresswell. Surely it was offside. Is that a four? Should we have a look at that, please? So Grice over. No, it's our number five player now. It was a good run. Good run. Four now, and they deserve it. Outplayed us in every department. Let's hurry up and get this game done, I think. And I think my centre backs are going to have a little bit of a change. Frank's in and blasts it over. I think it's the only shot I've seen. Apart from, I think Robbie Legan at first for their first goal. Oh, you are joking me. <laughs> enough, really. <laughs> I've had enough today. So we've got nine men on the pitch. <laughs> Just get it over and done with. Oh, so, okay, they're going to give us a... No, they're not. Hit it again? Oh, thank you very much. 4-1.
Exactly. That is the same result as Averley um, gave us a thumping in the FA Cup last season. He had, he had two bites at the cherry as well on this one. It was a good save, but yeah, shame he couldn't quite get back for it. Oh dear. Dear, 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 dear. Yeah, drawing board, I think, now. Full time. And uh, let us see the damage after I tell them they're a load of absolute idiots. All right, yeah, let's see who's got what, where, and how. So, our best defender is out for three to four months. Unbelievable. Uh, and let's have a look what's Charlton got wrong with him. So he's out for five weeks to two months. So two hamstring strains in the same. Was he hamstring? So torn hamstring and hamstring strain. Oh, this is going to be tough. Luckily, we've got a few midfielders now, but oh, that might involve a change in formation, I think. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at the schedule. So we're at the FA Trophy. I think what I might do is bring you back for yeah I'm thinking either Bishop Stortford or Whitehawk get up to the end of November Whitehawk's maybe a bit too far on I think I'm going to come back for Bishop Stortford um, yeah so we've got three games in the middle there uh, hopefully um, yeah I'll get our form back to a more sort of normal place because at the moment yeah there's two cup games in the middle there that we won but Wingate and Finchley was pretty rubbish and that was atrocious so okay yeah if you like what you've seen today leave a thumbs up on it and um, yeah Monday, Wednesday and Friday for these videos and uh, yeah hopefully see you soon cheers bye <laughs>